Celine. So today we're going to be doing another Plan With Me video. I know it's been a while since my since I did a, uh, a Plan With Me video. I think the last one I did was, what, Easter? So yeah, sorry about that. Um, so now, today we're actually going to be planning the very last week of April. And it is also the week of my boyfriend's birthday. So today I'm going to be doing a little something different. I know there's a lot of going on here. Um, I'm gonna try to plan my week more like a scrapbooking style. So that's, you know, that's why I have a lot of stuff out. Um, we're gonna be doing a lot of stamping, some embossing, um, die cutting, and then some watercolor. So, and also I'm gonna try to do more of like a, I guess you can say, more of like a boyish look instead of what I've been doing, which is more like, you know, kitty, um, girly stuff. So it's definitely something different I'm going to try. i um, excited to see what I actually come up with. So yeah, let me just go ahead and you know move all this stuff. And then just like before, I'm going to go over some of the stuff that I will be using. And I'm going to do my best to link them down below so you can um, try to find the same um, similar stuff. So hopefully, you know, you guys could um, maybe learn some new techniques and maybe just new ways of planning. <laughs> Alright, so the first thing I'm going to show you guys is the washi pack that I'm going to be using. So this is the Heidi Swap Decorative Tape, um, the blue one from Michaels. So it's pretty much, you know, it has glitter and then it has um, two washies that basically have um, writing on them. So I thought it'd be really cute to, you know, use it for my boyfriend's um, birthday week. So... Next, of course, I'm going to be using a Happy Planner sticker, like I always do. And I think I'm going to try to use more of like random stickers since I never really do that. And I just feel like I need to use more stickers. So hopefully I'll use <laughs> more from here. And then, oh, so I also bought a new stamp pad. So this is the Hero Arts um, Ombre stamp pad. And I have tested it out already and it looks amazing. Um, I know that you could do it with regular stamp or regular or regular ink to do an ombre effect, but I haven't really learned it yet, so I bought this. But and I and I really like it, so I think I might try to do some research to learn how I could actually do ombre stamping with regular stamp, so I don't have to keep buying or buy more of this. But I really like it, so I don't know. Okay, so the next um, stamps. Or uh, ink that I'm going, be, I'm going to be using is this Brilliant Dewdrop ink. So these are metallic. So you know we have the Galaxy Gold, Plat uh, Platinum Planet, Starlight Silver, and Cosmic Copper. So I do have the silver one, and I feel like they um, it has a lot of pigment. So that's why I bought a set so I could get more um, different colors. And I just absolutely love the um, the shininess to the ink. So. Yeah. So some of the stamps I'm going to be using today, one is going to be from the Sweet Stamp Shop and I'm going to be using their weekend sticker or weekend stamp, sorry. And then, um, okay, so the next stamp I'm going to be using is the Celebrate one right here. This little stamp set, um, I think it's from Heidi Swap. I bought it a while ago and um, I threw away the packaging. So hopefully, I think it's Heidi Swap. So. But yeah, that's one. Of, that's another one, and then I'm also going to be using a Tim Holtz stamp. Um, again, I threw this package away just because the way I store my stamps, um, I for some reason I don't know why I, I I didn't bother to keep the packaging, but I probably should since I need to know where they came from. But this is um, a stamp set that I bought I think from Michaels, and I know it's one of uh, Tim Holtz's stamps. So I plan to use this cup or this birthday cupcake one and also this present one right here. Okay. Another one I'm gonna be using is the one of the new stamp die set from Michaels. Or no, I bought this at Hobby Lobby, I'm sorry. Uh, Michaels also sell it too if you can find it. But um, I just plan to use these this leaf or the yeah these leaf um, stamps to maybe make like a border on, around something. And then the last of the stamp sets is this Fisker, Fisker's uh, birthday stamp set. So I bought this on Amazon and I I really like quote stamps just because I, yeah, as you can tell, my writing 
sucks, so I need something that has better, um, yeah, better writing. And then I just love the way these stamps, and I love the, the saying too. So as for die cut, I'm I have already um, die cut it already. So basically, I die cut it. Enjoy the journey. So because you know he's one year older, and then. Life is like a journey. <laughs> so this is basically um, uh, Sizzix. Yeah, it's also Tim. Um, it's Tim Hall's uh, die set, and it's Sizzix, and or yeah, it's Sizzix. And basically, it's um, just a bunch of words about adventure. So there's discover, expedition, um, world, explore, adventure, destination. So it has a lot. So. I really like this one, so I'm gonna go ahead and use that one. So yeah, as you can see, I have already die cutted them. So the paper that I use to die cut these is um, kind of like card. Well, it's like a thicker cardstock, and just because I'm gonna be embossing these words, so I kind of want it to be a little bit thicker, so you know, it's, it's um, it keeps its shape. And then for those of you who don't know what embossing is, I don't really even have a sample to show you guys. But I'll I'll show you guys the, the finished um, product on what embossing is. So basically, you know, you have to use um, of a sticky uh, stamp pad. So this is Versamark. And basically you stamp it on there and it's gonna be um, really sticky. After that, then you wanna put embossing powder. So the one I'm going to be using is by Zinc, and then I got this at Hobby Lobby. So this is a copper color. So then you sprinkle the the powder on the on your die cuts or on anything that you're embossing, but make sure you do it over something that can hold the powder because it's going to create a mess. And then also after you're done, you know you can also put the powder back in your your little tub so you don't base you don't waste any. Then after that you want to use a heat tool. So um, this one I got from Amazon is basically, um, it's, it's by Nicole. And these things get really hot. So if you guys do plan to start um, exploring with um, embossing, make sure you never touch the tip. And then, um, yeah, just be really careful with this because these things get super hot. And basically what it is, you know, you just aim it at wherever your powder is and it's gonna melt the powder into like a, yeah, into like an emboss. <laughs> so it's gonna be shiny and it's gonna be a little bit raised. Okay. Um, and I do plan to do a little bit of watercolor here and there. So I'm actually gonna be using my Zig pens. I'm so excited for these. So I bought this maybe like a while back from Amazon. Um, they're a little bit pricey, but I absolutely love them. You could use it as a pen, you could just color it straight on, or you could use it basically as the color on the side and you, you add more water to use it as, you know, like a watercolor. Um, I'm using this today just because they're very easy accessible and I get, I have about 60 colors, so I get to actually see what's going on. And then for our brushes wise, I just have these two, I forgot what brand these are, oh Pentel. So basically these are water brushes. So you have water in this um, in this section right here. And then all you have to do is just squeeze a little bit and then your, um, your brush will always be wet. So it's pretty handy. But then I also have a regular um, watercolor brush just in case if I need to cover more surface area. And I think, oh, another thing. I will be using, you know, as for my glue, this is one of the um, the adhesive that I'm going to be using today and this is actually basically just um, Ranger's multi-medium matte and then I transfer the the, the, um, the glue inside into this little bottle just because this little bottle has a really thin tip and I'm able to basically try to glue these words down so it's easier to basically um, put glue on these um, on the little words and also I bought this from Simon's Stamp website, I think. 
Okay, so I think that pretty much covers um, everything I'm going to be using today. And like I said, um, I'm going to link whatever I can down below. And so yeah, let's get started.
Alright guys, all finished! So I am really happy with the spread. Um, it came out a little bit different than what I was expecting. <laughs> Just because I tried to be, tried to make it more like masculine, but somehow I feel like it turned really pretty. <laughs> but um, yeah, I don't know where to start. So um, so yeah, you probably already saw, already saw the enjoy the journey. So this is basically the embossed letters that I did. So it's you know it's a little raised and it's I glued it on. So I feel like it just gives um, a little bit more dimension in the layout. And I am very 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 happy with the Tim Holtz um, Tim Holtz dies or I'm sorry Tim Holtz stamps. Just because there is so much detail in these stamps and then it basically stamped very very clearly but I was just very amazed by how much detail are in these stamps like it's amazing um let's see what else did the ombre loved it so what basically what I did was you know I I had to I basically did the stamp over try to um hold on so as for the ombre weekend, um, it worked super well. I absolutely love this ink pad. So I think I might have to go buy all the other colors now just because I love it so much. So um, I had to darken the tips just because my, you know, the whole ombre is about this big, but then my stamp is about this big. So basically I just stamped it um, kind of like right here, right, kind of right in the middle, but then still have um, a bit of the the drastic ombre effect kind of like on the bottom and then I went over with the tips of the very light part on the very bottom so it brings it out more and then the tips of the very dark part on the very top because it when I first stamped there's none of this color on the top so I just went in and then just um, use the tip on the stamp and just kind of pat it down so so there's more um, more like a drastic change uh, on the stamp but yeah I love this. I, I'm uh, yeah, I'm gonna be wasting a lot of money. <laughs> okay, um, what else? Um, oh, first time doing watercolor on the Happy Planner paper, and I have to say I'm very impressed. Just because you know the paper, I I didn't you know use too much water, but I had to get enough water on the paper where the the um, where the watercolor is is moving and not. It very, basically has a very um, soft fade. I don't know how to explain it, but yeah, I'm very very happy with this paper just because if you look, it does not bleed through. And then in some areas, you know, there's a little bit of warping of paper, but I'm not too worried about that just because it's not drastic. You can't really even tell. But I'm just surprised that it did not bleed through. So I'm so happy. So I think I might I might want to do more um, more more watercolor in the future. Um, I didn't want to go too crazy just because I know in my past videos I kind of went crazy on like stickers, and it kind of looks really basically looked like I threw up on the paper. So I try to cut back um, on trying to wanting to fill every single box. And of course um, I changed my pen. So today, basically, I used um, just a basic jelly roll pen, a black um, by by Sakura, and it works pretty well. Um, I'm still need to find my uh, the pen, or like a pen that I really like. I I do like this. It's not too bad. Maybe I want something just a little bit thicker, but overall, it's, it's actually not too bad. So I'm not. I'm pretty happy with it. Yeah, I try to make it more guyish, but then I think my water, I, I don't know, I feel like when I do watercolor, it, it softens the look of the whole layout, which, you know, it turned out really awesome, and now I, I have great ideas for my future Plan With Me videos. Um, but yeah, today was basically a test run, and then, you know, I thought it came out really well, so I'm very happy with it. Oh, another thing I know that my video that cu got cut out was this heart right here. So basically, I just used the pen and then I I drew this heart on here. That's that's pretty much it. Okay, so also you know I I basically you know just wrote down whatever I think I'm gonna be doing the next week. Um, for sure, dinner with the family. 
but we don't know where, we don't know time, so I just kind of left it blank. And then on Saturday night, that's when we're going to be having um, his party with our friends. So same thing, dinner with friends and then left where and when um, blank too. Alright guys, so that's pretty much it for today's Plan With Me video. Um, if you guys have any questions, just go ahead and leave a comment down below and I'll do my best to answer them as best as I can. So also don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you guys next time. Bye!